But the thing of it is, is there's always the possibility to explore for open notes in every key. Okay, so now let's see about B. B is an awesome key for open notes on the pedal steel. One of the reasons is because we have the open B chord built right into the tuning. If we play the first string, the second string, and the fifth string, and then we can even go on and continue that down on the seventh and tenth string, we got the B chord built right in. So B is awesome for open stuff on the pedal steel because you can play all sort of things where you drone those two strings on top. This is really cool for like roll pattern sort of stuff. Another neat feature of B is if you have to play like um, bluesy or rock and rolly sort of things in B, it's a, it's, it's a cool key because you can pull off from this second fret thing and get a lot of neat bluesy kind of scale stuff. So a lot of cool open string options in the key of B on the pedal steel. One of my favorites for sure. Okay, now we go to C. Well, again, at first glance, not that many things available to us in C, except maybe, say we go down here to the third fret with the pedals down. Well, now all those open string things that we could do in G where we pull off, we can transpose all that. So that's open string stuff in C, mm -hmm. right? Uh, okay, now we go to C sharp. Well, in C sharp, we have the option of uh, adding, just going with that A pedal down. Now, in this one, we also have the option, if our guitar has it, to lower that second string. Okay. And again, both of those notes tuned straight up on the meter so that they match the so that they match the the, the keyboard. And then now, so now we got all kind of options available in C sharp. even outside wacky things, right? All right, now we move up to D. D, an another really, really cool key on the pedal steel to play open strings in. For the same reason, we can again lower that second string. Now, a cool feature of that second string lower like that is this is also great in G because it's the fifth and we can do like dobro style droney things. So that's a cool trick for both of those keys is to lower that second string. All right, now E flat. E flat, what we got? We got a built in open string for E flat. And so, there again, if that string were not tuned straight up on the meter, that would deny us the opportunity of an open string in what a key that we probably wouldn't ever think of using it in. And now here we go all the way back to E. And we have just went through all 12 keys and we got to use open strings in every one of them and at no point did any of those notes ever clash with the keyboard. Mm -hmm. Now, basically all we talked about was uh, major chords and uh, some minor chords. We talked about like, what if we had to play C-sharp minor or whatever, okay? Well, we know there's other kinds of chords, right? What if we had to play, say, a diminished chord? Again, this is one of those things that most typically uses that lever that raises the E's to F. And if this lever were tuned flat, Tim, play me a F diminished chord. All right. Now, if that lever were tuned flat, <laughs> And now that was the root. 
if that was the root of our chord and it were tuned flat, then you see what kind of trouble that would get us mm -hmm. in, right? Mm -hmm. But now, since we're talking about this crazy diminished chord thing, diminished chords, if, if we're used to using them at all, you know that they have this neat trick. They're divisible by three. In other words, you take that chord, you move it three frets, and it inverts itself. You move it three more frets, same thing happens again. You move it three more frets, same thing happens again. And when you move it one more time, what do you know? We're back to the octave. Now that tells us that if the octave works and anything divisible by three works, that stuff like this could happen. Is there any rhyme or reason to that? Not at all. However, there's a formula to it, and it says as long as any place I put the bar is something divisible by three, it's always going to be F diminished. Okay? <laughs> now, say we had to play another interesting sort of chord. Play me a A augmented chord, Tim. Okay. Again, uses that lever that if it were tuned flat, that probably would not sound so good against that chord, right? Now, do we have to play, do, how often do we have to play a diminished or augmented chord? Probably not very often, but if we did have to play it, it works somewhat like that diminished thing, except it's divisible by stuff in four. So we could take it and go... And now we're back at that octave again. And that same crazy thing we did with that diminished chord now all of a sudden applies with this augmented one. Any musical use for that? Well, you can't ever tell. <laughs> <laughs> so, the point of all this is, if you have all of these strings tuned straight up on the meter, you never cut yourself off from any of these options. And, right. and that's the central theme that I want to try to get at here when discussing the concept of open string magic on the pedal steel. See what you can come up with that. See if you can find any cool new open string ideas and share them back with us. Thanks to special guest Tim Crispin today, and we'll see you next time. My pleasure. Lab. See the equipment our pros use at the best prices anywhere online. Support small business and save.